Well, hello, 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 everybody out there in Tarot Land. This is your girl Zingaya, the Zen Libra, and welcome to my channel, Journeys with the Narcissist. How y'all doing out there? I hope y'all doing good. I know y'all probably was like, what the hell is going on? Y'all know uh, if you follow me regularly, you know that I put out uh, Smoking with Gaia and uh, Confession with the Narcissist. I put them out in pairs. And I only did one, um, <laughs> Confessions of a Narcissist. Um, and then put out the other, you know. But I was in the process of making it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But my guy was off work. You know, and I hate, I like to like base my workload around his schedule because I hate, he gets me out of my zone when he's home. You know what I'm saying? You know how men just want to, all your attention, you know, and then he get my son riled up and they gang up on me. You know what I'm saying? Like they just have to have all the attention in the world. So, um, he talked me into doing, um, to the challenge that they had on TikTok, the Taylor Port. Uh, uh, that wine, that Taylor Port wine, because I'm a wine drinker, and uh, so he gonna bring it home. I'm about try this, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, uh, well, you know, I'm good to try new wine, you know what I'm saying? Say like, no, you get you messed up. And my crazy self, I'm looking on TikTok and I'm like, these people off of this, and he's like, yeah, man, y'all. I drank one glass of that wine. I'm not a big drinker at all. I used to be in my early 20s, but I, I don't, you know, um, since I had my son, you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know what I'm saying? I had to breastfeed him. So when I was breastfeeding him, I stopped altogether. You know what I'm saying? I may have a little fruity drink here and there, but nothing major. You know, like I used to get it in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, I used to party, you know what I'm saying? My early 20s, but... That was a long time ago, and I can't, you know what I'm saying? And girl, I was numb, y'all. I was sitting there like numb. I was nipped to the cross, y'all. I was like, what? And he just found it so funny because he's like, you you do everything so right, and I like to see you messed up. I was like, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? If I was to trip and fall or something, I mean, or anything like that, get hit by a door, you know, because I'd be doing dumb dumb stuff. You know what I'm saying? It, he cracks up. I mean, it's hilarious to him and my son because I'm like, y'all act like y'all like to see me fall. And they like, no, it's just that you ain't never out of, out of out, you always on point. Then when you ain't on point, we just, it's funny. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. But Taylor Port was the reason that uh, I didn't come out with this uh, second um or, uh, um, confessions with a narcissist, and I do apologize, guys. But uh, if y'all ever tried <laughs> that Taylor Port, y'all know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was like, goodness, you know what I'm saying? I tell you, boy, these these people in the hood be finding a, a way to get 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 slaughtered. You know what I'm saying? They don't like to just get mellow. They like to get gone out their mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? You know, it tastes like. I'm telling my age, but it tastes like Cisco. Y'all remember Cisco? I don't know how old y'all is out there, but if y'all y'all around my age or a little older, you know what I'm saying? Y'all remember Cisco. Um, and it was on the market for a little while, but they took it right off because it was too, it was getting people just messed up. You know what I'm saying? That's what this wine tastes like. But anyway, guys, welcome and thank you for joining me for another session of confessions of a narcissist and i apologize guys again for not putting this video out but taylor port had me up gone you know what i'm saying go you know what I'm saying? i was up there like <laughs> <laughs> but anyway y'all thank you for joining me for this session of confessions of a narcissist guys so let's see what energy that we are pulling from for this session here how y'all out there doing, ladies? I hope y'all doing fine. I hope everybody is well. Okay. Okay. We got the energy of animals here. Okay. We have the energy of animals here for this particular reading. Um... 
animals, when they come up, it's a symbol of a primal instinct or an urge. Um, the animals can represent a, a repressed part of yourself that you can't fully express. You know, um, so somebody is wants to express something, but they are repressing it. Okay. Uh, we got a narcissist here or a victim of a narcissist because that's all you ever have is a narcissist and a victim. Um, but somebody is repressing something. It's something that somebody wants to say, um, but they're repressing it. Mm, interesting. Oh, huh. that's interesting. Okay. Let's see what energy we pulling out for that today. Okay. For the animals. Who's repressing what and for what reason? Okay. Ooh. We got clone. What the hell is going on, y'all? We got clone. Do no no no. It goes down over y'all on journeys with the narcissist. We got clones and animals and shit. What's that? What, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? Mm. And we got somebody that's stubborn. Okay, this is the energy we have out here. We have a clone. We have stubborn. We have somebody that has something to say, but they are scared to express themselves. <laughs> they probably express themselves. In dreams several times, but in the waking life, in the real world, in reality, they ain't saying nothing. What's up with that? Okay. Let's get some energy on here, you know. Let's get some energy and see what we're working with on this uh, session of Confessions of a Narcissist. Okay. Do we have a narcissist that's repressing his feelings? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. What energy we have on here, y'all. Mm -hmm. You got him. Um, this narcissist, this masculine. Um, he's getting older, and um, he's afraid of how he looks now. Um, he's afraid. He's not happy about how he looks. He think he's deteriorating. Um. He feels unattractive or unappealing in some type of way. Um, he has a fear of losing someone important. Someone important to him. Um, and this person that he has fear of losing, this person is important to his emotional and material survival. So, this masculine is afraid that he's not looking up to par. He's afraid that he's aging. Um, and um, he's repressing his feelings um, to somebody, I guess, because he's scared because the way he looked. Maybe they gained weight or something, lost some hair. I mean, that happens in time. You know what I'm saying? And um, But this is a person that's so focused on image that he expected for his image to be the same forever. You know, that's why you don't want to get in a relationship with somebody that's shallow or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because those looks are going to fade. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's the world that we live in, the way that we eat in this environment. The material, the the, the physical look is going to fade. And you, you, you can't be, you have to love that person from inside out. You know what I'm saying? That's real love. You know what I'm saying? So when that deterioration and age comes, which is happens to everybody, you still got that love, you know, because that was the basis of your connection. But this particular person, um, I guess he feels that what he has or how he looks affects the women that he gets, which that's not the case at all. So this person is repressing his feelings because he's scared that he done gained weight, lost some hair or something like that. And he don't want to come to somebody. That's that's crazy, you know, because women aren't as shallow as men. 
you know, it's a lot of women that are shallow, but you got to give somebody benefit of the doubt. You don't know what they're going to accept if you're repressing. You never know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get some cards on there. Let's get some cards on clone. Yeah. You know, I hate he feels that way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you need to listen to that, that record by music. Don't you change? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to... You got to be in a relationship. Love. You know what I'm saying? See, that's how I look at a person. You know. If I'm digging on somebody or before I dig on a person, I look clear in their eyes. And I look completely into their soul. You know, eyes or the seat of the soul. And if a person can't look you in their eye, they in your eye, they deceptive. And that's somebody you don't want to be with anyway. But I look you in your eye because I want to see. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm intuitive and I can see all up in that. You know what I'm saying? What's going on with you just by one particular look. You know what I'm saying? So you need to look into these people's eyes and see inside their soul instead of, oh, she got a fat ass or, oh, she got some nice titties or, you know, oh, girl, look, he's sexy. You know, no. You got to look in their eyes look in their soul and talk to them and get to know them to see if they are a good mate for you. Not by the, the outer shell. And that's what this masculine is caught up on. But if he feels that uh, his looks are deteriorating, that's nothing that you can't do to, to clean that up. You know what I'm saying? Start exercising. You know what I'm saying? Start taking better care of your skin. You know what I'm saying? Get your teeth fixed. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever it is that you have to do. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, hair comes, hair goes. I mean, if your hair falling out, you know what I'm saying? You got a bald spot, shave your head bald. A lot of men look good, uh, bald headed and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I tell them to shave their head off in a minute. That's what I told my, um, my uh, guy to do. Big bald spot, shave that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, and he looked attractive as hell with his hair shaved. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you never tr know until you try. You know, you have to accept yourself, sweetheart, uh, uh, in order for somebody else to accept you. Okay? All right, let's put one on clone here. Mm, let's put one on clone. Okay. Because I want to know what's going on with that. Wow. We have the Demon Valak. We had a Wheel of Fortune here. We have Clone on the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. Somebody wants things to go their way. But what does Clone have to do with it? Has this narcissist been cloned? I'm not going to say never because they do do that. They'll put the consciousness of a whole total demon in somebody else's body. Okay? They'll put the whole consciousness of a demon into somebody's body. Maybe this is what happened to this masculine. Okay? Um, but they want the wheel to go in um, their favor. Okay? Uh, wow. All right. Huh. Or somebody could be trying to clone someone to get their will of fortune. That can happen too. Maybe this masculine has some information about that. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? It could be either way. You know what I'm saying? Um, take this as it resonates for you. You know what I'm saying? Let's put one on stubborn. Oh, I forgot to say what Valak did, y'all. I'm, I'm, you know. Um, it says tales where treasures are hidden reveals hidden dangers. Yeah, um, just somebody is in danger? What the hell is going on? He wants to reveal to somebody that they are in danger. He wants to come and tell this person that somebody is trying to clone them for their will of fortune because they know that they are supposed to get this inheritance or get this in for fortune. And they're trying to clone this particular person so they can get this will of fortune. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's put one on stubborn. I mean, this is just too much right here. What the, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? But this happens, y'all. This happens. You know, people try to copycat you. They try to steal your energy. Um, they try to be you. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't have no identity of themselves. Uh, these people are very invasive. And invasive means that they will come inside of your world, you know, 
uh, like a bird has a nest, okay? And these people tend to come and lay their eggs inside your nest now and say that it's their home and take over your nest because they like your nest. You know what I'm saying? I hate people like that. You know what I'm saying? But that is what's going on here in um, this particular uh, reading here. Okay. Um, let's put one on stubborn. 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 Oh. Of course. But the King of Cups is stubborn. The King's, King of Cups is stubborn. Okay, this is somebody that cares for this feminine. He cares for her. He cares for her a lot. But he's too fucking stubborn to open his mouth and tell her what's really going on. Okay? See, people are trying to clone her for her inheritance. Her ancestral inheritance. Her spiritual inheritance. Okay? They're trying to clone her. It's a group of people trying to clone her. Somebody is trying to uh, swap energies with her. They want to give her, her their lousy energy while they take her creative energy and just replace her life. Replace her. And that's what's happening here. And this masculine knows what's going on behind the scene. But he's repressing it. He's scared to say it. You know what I'm saying? He's stubborn as hell. He loves this feminine. But he don't want to, he's scared to come forward and tell her what the hell is going on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this feminine has superpowers, okay? This feminine has superpowers, so people are chasing her, okay? But this this feminine, be they're chasing her because she's moving forward in life and she's coming into money, okay? Um, She's coming into financial security. She's coming into wealth, Um. A lot of money that's going to bring her a lot of stability. Okay? Um, and these people know that. They know that. Okay? You got this um, this chick over here that this masculine is involved with. She wants to swap energies with this divine feminine. Because... She feels like she's getting old, she's getting ugly, you know what I'm saying? Her her face is getting messed up and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? She's worried about her looks, you know what I'm saying? Because she hasn't been able to get this feminine's energy. This feminine has blocked her energy out from this particular uh, person, you know what I'm saying? So, since they're not able to get her energy, their looks are deteriorating. You know what I'm saying? Because this feminine that they're trying to clone has superpowers. So people are chasing her because she's moving forward in life. She's going to be very stable and she's coming in. She, she's going to be millionaire. This is millionaire status here. This is boss bitch status. And these people know it. Okay. This could be a woman. This is a melanated woman. Okay. This is a woman of a different race that wants to take the place of this melanated woman because she, the will of fortune, is turning into her favor. This masculine, this freaking narcissist, you know what I'm saying? He knows, you know what I'm saying, that these people are doing this, but he's not uh, divulging their information to this feminine. You know what I'm saying? He's being stubborn, although he loves her. He's being stubborn. You know what I'm saying? So... The divine is telling this feminine, you know what I'm saying? Um, you need to be alert. There is potential danger uh, coming on around you, okay? Uh, this person wants to come and be vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? With this uh, feminine and let her know what the deal is. You know what I'm saying? Um, this feminine is being haunted, being uh, stalked or, you know what I'm saying, um, hovered over by a monster, by a demon. And this masculine knows it. You know what I'm saying? And this is someone who he has a baby by. You know what I'm saying? Um... Uh, she she could have just given birth or she's going to have a baby. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, this could be somebody that's uh, in the church, uh, a religious figure. You know what I'm saying? She's using all type of technology and everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, to do this to this feminine, to try to get energy from this feminine, uh, particularly at night. This is what I'm getting. This is crazy, y'all. This is what I'm getting, and this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this has been coming up all week about this killer couple that's ganging up on this divine feminine. And it's over here now in Confessions of a Narcissist, okay? Both of these people are narcissists, all right? But this masculine has been a narcissist to divine feminine. And this woman has been a narcissist to this king of cups. You know what I'm saying? Um, she wants to clone the energy of this particular feminine and this masculine knows it. He knows it. And he's guilty by association because he won't come forward and tell this feminine that she's in potential danger. You know what I'm saying? Um, he learned something new. He probably just figured out or found out what she was doing. You know what I'm saying? And, um, she's a monster. This woman is a monster. You know what I'm saying? She's a demon. And the masculine wants to come toward uh, the feminine and tell her. You know what I'm saying? But this is somebody that he has a baby with, that he has a child with. This is somebody in the church. You know what I'm saying? That's using technology to try to get energy from this feminine. What I tell y'all about these church people? What did I tell y'all about these church people? See, in spirituality, we don't do this. OK, we don't clone people. We don't try to uh, take people's energy and take people's lives and pass it off as our own because they're coming into uh, a wheel of fortune because they're coming into abundance. And that's what this feminine is doing. This is somebody. This is a uh, somebody in a church. OK, this is somebody in a church. It's one of probably the deacon's wife, the pastor, wife, somebody. But they, this is people in the church, y'all. I'm telling you, if y'all still in these churches in 2022, you cursing your life. You know what I'm saying? Check me out on TikTok, y'all. I broke down the word curse. You know what I'm saying? Go under my videos and look at the videos called Decoding the Spells. And I broke the word uh, church down and you will see what that word actually means, okay? If the church is the light in the way, why are they cloning people? Why are you stealing people's, you, you, you snatch them, you invasion of the body snatchers, basically. And that's what these people are trying to do to this feminine. You know what I'm saying? But she's protected and her ancestors are on it. But this masculine, he won't come forward and tell her that she's in potential danger. And I think that is such a crock of shit when he's in up here supposed to love her. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he's not uh, telling her anything. You know what I'm saying? This feminine is somebody, this feminine is trying to clone this other feminine. This is somebody that thinks they're always right. This is somebody that's not of the light. But she's a church member. She's a church leader. But she's not of the light. She's in the church. She's a church leader. But she's not of the light. Okay? I tell you about the church. You know what I'm saying? This person is possessed by demons. Okay? But she's in the church, y'all. This is a religious person that goes to church probably there every every Sunday, every Tuesday. And they're, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. You know, that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And um, this person has no morals. They don't care about cloning somebody, taking somebody's life. This person is a drug addict. This, this feminine is a drug addict. See, women are narcissists too, okay? Studies show 80%. Narcissists are men and 20% of women. This bitch is, is the 20%. Okay? This bitch is the 20%. Okay? She's a drug addict, but she's in the church. She's in the church, y'all. Okay? This person doesn't know love. You know? Um, this is a, a feminine that masturbates all the time. I mean, is she in the church, y'all? She's in the church. And, you know, and they talk about Lilith. Okay? You know what I'm saying? She in the church, she masturbating like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll see you in a minute, Pastor. And she go in there and be jacking off in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? This person is opportunist. Okay? 
Um, and this this person needs to be institutionalized. Something is definitely wrong with somebody that wants to clone somebody else's energy and be them. Okay? This feminine is very materialistic. Um, and uh, she's pissed because she feels like this masculine is rejecting her now. You know? She knows this masculine is in love with this divine feminine. You know what I'm saying? But this masculine is too fucking stubborn to come and tell this feminine that she's in potential danger because people are trying to clone her, to clone her energy. He won't speak up and say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because she feels she getting ugly teeth falling out and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this feminine has superpowers, so these people are chasing her because she's moving forward in life with financial uh, independence, with security. You know what I'm saying? So they want to just, uh, it's all about money, y'all. It's all about money. She got kids over there that she don't take care of. You know what I'm saying? She's just a bad mother. You know what I'm saying? And she got the nerve to try to be somebody's boss or supervisor. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Um, this masculine is a, a womanizer. You know what I'm saying? So you got this killer couple over here. You know what I'm saying? He's a charmer. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's over here trying to clone the lady. And he over here trying to charm her. You know what I'm saying? Um, so she could do as uh, he's saying, not as he do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, his pleasure, his pleasure in life is to get his feminine pain. You know what I'm saying? This couple's pleasure in life is to give this feminine pain. They make up stories about this feminine to make themselves feel important. So they must be a clout chasing couple. And these, this couple is totally evil. They are totally evil. Now, they know that this feminine has superpowers. They know it. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's why they're after her. That's why they're trying to clone her. You know what I'm saying? Um, this His wife, man, she conceals her feelings with rage. I mean, she's so rageful. You know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, this masculine done got with somebody uh, that's a shapeshifter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And she wants to sacrifice this feminine. You know, uh, this masculine here uh, has multiple baby mamas. You know what I'm saying? Um, this couple wants to sacrifice this divine feminine. That's what they're doing. They want to sacrifice her, clone her energy. And this bitch over here with her teeth falling out uh, could just step into this feminine's life. You know what I'm saying? And be, and be her. You know what I'm saying? He even wants to get this feminine in bed so he can try to use some sex magic on her. You know, to make her more uh, submissive. You know what I'm saying? And he's mad that this feminine is ignoring him. That's why he won't come tell her what uh, she uh, is doing to her. You know what I'm saying? But this masculine, he's a pushover. He he ain't no man. You know what I'm saying? He's sitting up here following behind this feminine and allowing her to hurt this feminine to clone her. It must belong to some group or something. You know what I'm saying? Um, an aunt has something to do with this. You know what I'm saying? An aunt. It could be her aunt or his aunt, but they have something to do with this. Uh, this couple, they're tyrants. They're tyrants, okay? They're disgusting. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're, uh, he's a gigolo and she's a prostitute. You know, they both sell their body for uh, money. You know what I'm saying? They're sex workers. You know what I'm saying? And she got the nerve to want to clone this personal, this this feminist, divine feminist energy. And she's a prostitute. You know what I'm saying? These people need spiritual guidance. But I don't know if they would accept it. You know what I'm saying? Um, these people are existing in life. They're not living. Um, they're uh, murderers. These people are murderers. And that's what they want to do is to sacrifice this feminine. And be his, she wants to be this feminist clone. So they must belong to some kind of group or something. Some type of secret society. And these people are cursed. You know what I'm saying? They stink. They have sex with everybody and anybody. They got bad hygiene. You know what I'm saying? She stink. You know what I'm saying? And they wanna, he wants to harm this feminine. She wants to harm this feminine. Because she won't submit to them. Okay? Because she's fighting them. You know, they purposefully wants to ruin this feminine's life so this feminine can jump in her place and be her clone. I mean, these people are very deceptive. You know, these people are fake. You know what I'm saying? 
um, these people has no integrity. This masculine has no integrity. And they're doing all this for what? For the love of money. He put a price tag on this feminine's life. Okay? But he say he love her? Yeah, okay. He is a damn man manipulator. You know what I'm saying? He's a bad parent. You know, they're bad parents. Uh, they nasty. They have STDs. Both of them over there are nasty. They perverts. You know what I'm saying? Um, they want to tie this feminine down because she's coming into abundance. You know, uh, like her life has any damn thing to do with theirs. And he feels that this feminine is his. You know what I'm saying? We even got a grandmother that has something to do with this. See, this is a whole family of people, okay, that's doing this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this masculine has a gambling addiction. Um, these people are narcissists. This is a narcissistic couple. And they want to kidnap this feminine. They want to kidnap her, y'all. They want to kidnap her, throw her in the trunk, sacrifice her. So this feminine can clone her energy and just take over her life. And this masculine, he don't respect women at all. He don't respect women at all. He gossip like a girl. You know what I'm saying? Um, this these just totally detached from reality. You know what I'm saying? And it's and it's messed up too that this masculine is this divine feminist uh twin flame. So he's gonna ball in hell with gasoline draws on because he came up against his counterpart for this secret society. Uh, and this bitch that he messing with, well, she must be, a, uh, she probably an Eastern star, and he's probably a Mason, and uh, they want to sacrifice this feminine for her uh, divine feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? They're very immature. He's very immature. This masculine is her twin flame, and he's freaking immature, you know, and he wants to hurt her because she don't want him. But why would she want somebody that sit over there and stank? He's a gigolo. She, he's messing with a prostitute. They smell. They have bad hygiene. They perverts. They masturbate all the time. They nasty. And then you won't even come forward. You're too damn stubborn to come forward and tell this feminine that these people are trying to do this to her. You in there with them. You want to, you mad, you, you say, okay, y'all go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because she don't want me no way. I mean, that's crazy. So you want to kill her because she don't want you? You know what I'm saying? Um, this masculine repeats these cycles over and over and over with women that he deals with. You know what I'm saying? He attracts the same kind of women that he deals with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, this 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 clone over here, well, she want to be a clone. She'll try sexual. She'll try anything with her nasty ass. She stink. I can smell her right now. She stinks. You know what I'm saying? And he over here laying down there with her. And she'll try sexual. She'll try anything. And he got a little penis. You know what I'm saying? So they a match made. They may a match made. You know what I'm saying? This is a worthless couple. These are worthless people. You know what I'm saying? They always going to cheat on each other. They always going to cheat on each other. And they want to put this feminine in bondage. Because she has the bag. You know, these two people are coming up against this one feminine, his twin flame, mind you. His twin flame. He'd rather take her out here and get the bag 